Fortnite has a okay. I, I looked into this because I didn't quite understand what was happening. There's a bunch of skins in the game. Now I assume because so many of the skins like show a lot of skin, like midriff and stuff and really tight clothes, that this is like a sex thing. And it's not. Um because Fortnite is trying to Fortnite is basically trying to become robe Roblox, from what I understand. So Roblox is like a really open sandbox type of thing where you can make your own game modes with your own scripts. And um, Warcraft with Blizzard had a lot of success, which you know gave birth to Dota and other game modes by allowing people to make their own game modes. Um, and I think that what Epic has done is to try and... Roblox, I, look, I, I don't know. Everyone complains about how I say Roblox. I'll, I'll say Roblox however I want. Roblox uh, kind of copied the Warcraft model, allowing people to create their own game modes. And I believe that Epic, the license for Fortnite, says you can create your own Fortnite game modes, but they retain like an option to buy the game. I know that um, when when uh, Activision Blizzard re-released Warcraft, they modified the custom game license to give them uh, first party like choice to purchase the rights to any game mode. And then they're only set to give the creator of the game mode like a pittance. And that was a really big deal when it happened. I assume that Epic also retains similar rights to buy um, buy ideas from people who make successful game modes for Fortnite. And that's why they're trying to create this like extended universe of Fortnite where you can make your own game game modes and stuff. And then Epic can buy them conceivably later if it's really popular. Anyways, um the what i was talking what i my point i was trying to get to is that um fortnite is a 10 plus age video game and uh or 13 plus and some of the game modes because they're non-violent are um accessible to people under the age of 13 and in those game modes um certain cosmetics are not permitted because they have big guns i thought maybe they wouldn't allow like the skimpy skins in these 10 year old game modes but i think it's specifically the guns if it's like a more like realistic or extreme weapon that's a part of the cosmetic uh it won't permit you to use that in the game so uh that's it because of the the controversy over this i actually did download fortnite and in my first game I won, I murdered 15 children and I got chicken dinner my first time trying. It wouldn't let me change my gender. It forced me to play as a woman, which I didn't like. I tried to find if there was like a default male skin, but no, the female character that you see on the screen is the one that they force you to play with. Um, yeah, it's a bot lobby. I was thinking about that because it's it, everything looks like real players. Um, but it was so easy to kill all, all these people. I couldn't tell if they were children that I was murdering or if they were robots. And obviously murdering robots is a lot less satisfying than um, murdering children. So I, I wasn't particularly invested. It was like too, it was, it was too easy. Um, the first few matches are 100% bot matches to get you addicted. It's weird because it's it, it really does feel like you're just playing with really bad players. It doesn't feel like you're playing um, bots, especially because they're how they're named. They're all named like little kid names. And then also some of them are named in a way where they have numbers at the end. And I'm aware that in console games, the um if you're playing against a party that are sharing like if two people are playing on xbox together they will share the gamer tag together so it'll be like xx fortnite lover xx but then the first player will be called you know parentheses one and the second player will be called parentheses two so the bots if they are bots they even have one and two next to the names to pre to emulate console players playing together which is like a whole nother level of like bizarre. It's one thing to put bots into the game. It's another thing to make bots in the game that are like named in a way that looks like real players. It's like an additional level of like sneaky fuck Chinaman skull fucking where they try to emulate like console players playing to like they're trying the, the Epic games try to make me believe 
that I just shot two children dead in a video game that were sitting next to each other on a couch playing together on Xbox when really they're a, a algorithm in a, in a Chinese data farm in you know whatever the fuck Beijing and it's a really weird feeling to know that this company is like trying to actively manip manipulate you the dead Fortnite theory I don't know um I, I won't play again though because I don't want to play as a woman. And I was considering let me let me show you this actually now that I'm thinking about it. Fortnite refer a friend. Let me hide this real quick, make sure. I'm aware that um in Fortnite, if you play and you refer a friend, you can play as Mushroom Man. And Mushroom Man is not sexy at all or a woman so I'm considering annoying someone to refer me so I can get so I can play with them just enough to get the mushroom man skin that's my consideration I thought maybe you just refer enough people and then you would um you would get the mushroom man skin but no you have to like play together or something which is kind of gay um so that's that's the Fortnite update. I'll let you know if I play another round. Well, why? <laughs> I I I've tried all these other battle royale games, and I only played it because I saw that there was like a no building mode, and I always considered the building shit the gayest fucking thing that's ever existed on the face of the planet. So I didn't want to play like with the the spaz kids building towers in the middle of the, the planet. Like that looked terrible. Um. So I tried it. It was it was okay. Um, I did. I obviously I won because I was murdering androids and or small children on their couches together. Um, I liked it. I would say I would liked it more than Apex because I I find the the character designs in Apex Legends so viscerally disgusting that it actively detracts from my experience. I hate the gunplay in Apex too. It just it feels terrible to shoot a gun in Apex, and then all the characters are like gross Pajit Harley Quinns. Actually, let me show you this. This is on a video game tangent that nobody cares about. Let's see, Apex Legends Indian woman. This, look at this. Look at this. This fucking bullshit. It's like, it's just the worst character design that's ever fucking existed. It's like... It's literally an Indian woman that bl pops bubble gum. And she, her big thing is that she has a big gun. The best way I can describe it is um like a harley quinn slash league of legends jinx dipped in curry and stewed for a couple of hours and it's just like why would i ever want to want to play as this character whereas on fortnite if i want to if i want to play i can play as a mushroom and that's a better okay i'm just saying that's a fact though now i don't know i guess i can't even play dead by daylight because they've tuned it out where is where's the character at? I know it's transgender pride week or some shit. Google told me this, which is why I know. Oh, this is extremely gay. Oh, is this so th it's a trans man? Oh, no, he's gay. What? Dead by Daylight slashes through LGBTQ barriers with game's first trans character. Tur, tur, uh, the first tranny is Brazilian. If you're Brazilian, I want you to know this is how Western liberals think of you. They think of you as a fucking freak. They think you're one, you're one gender euphoric moment away from cutting off your own dick and then dancing in one of those circuses that you guys have all over the place. One of your kind of idols. Then you're gonna cut off your weenus and dance around with your with your bleeding hole in a carnival that's what westerners think about you we 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 think that you're <laughs> we think that you're like a, a subhuman lady boy race to be made fun of um okay since this is i don't know i don't know what turba tur, turabao means like can i look this up we have a picture of this drone 
It's literally Portuguese for shark. <laughs> they named him. <laughs> it's a predator. What the fuck? Oh my god, is this the character? No, no, that has to be like an a uh, an edit or something. Turn about the about like trans. I guess there's not actually a a character of this yet. Oh well. Um, here, let me let me try to show you this actually. Dead by daylight. Myers killed first person. No, I want the animation. Oh, here we go. Okay, so um, when here's what you can expect if you're playing Dead by Daylight as this trans character. You ready? This is a first person perspective of what your your existence will be like. I want to show 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 me the Mori. God damn it! I click for the Mori. Oh, here we go. Okay, he's coming. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, oh yeah. Yay! Trans visibility. Trans visibility chat. Dead by the behavior developers, they broke through it. We finally have trans visibility in this wonderful game. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.